Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. Okay. Still going through knocking out that series. Who's coming back to haunt you? This Mercury Retrograde. In our Halloween and the last Mercury Retrograde season of 2020. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of glad we're just getting it over and done with. Because I'll be honest, it's been nothing but crazy chaos for me since it started. And that's fine. It's all good. It's fine. It's no big deal. It happens. It's retrograde. My camera's getting shaky, so I gotta... There, that's better. Okay. Where are we? Come on, who wants to come out and play? Anybody? You're gonna make me pick one, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh. Leo, you're up. Why not? This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for this last Mercury retrograde of 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to the cards if you choose to do it at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what doesn't belong to you. If it's not your message, it's not your message. If it's not your story, it's not your story. It's, if it's not your journey, it's not your journey. Don't worry about it. Better luck next time. Or you can check your moon, rising, or Venus sign placements. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign. Okay. Just keep in mind, time and energy will fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And if you are under the age of 18 and watching this video, I highly suggest that you click off now. As per the about section of this channel, it is geared toward 18 and older only. I apologize. There are certain subject matters that are discussed that could be not for young ears. Okay? Uh, we're all adults here. And if I have to go through and age restrict every single one of my videos, I will. So we're going to do the honor system. Come back and see me on your 18th birthday. I'll read your cards for free. Okay? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's coming back to haunt you? of bats. Page of swords. Okay. Could be an air sign person. Could be a relatively young air sign person. Hmm. Huh. Truth speaker, truth seeker. This is someone who is honest with you. Or someone who had to tell you the truth about a matter. I mean, if it's setting off alarms in your head, cool. If it's not, just give it a minute. What happened? Four of ghosts. The four of cups. They may have tried to hand you a cup and you ignored it. Or you didn't want to see it. Could be that little piece of truth they tried to hand you. Tried to tell you. You spent too much time focusing on other things, possibly. Or all things being vice versa, it was the other way around. This could be someone you tried to tell the truth to. And they didn't want to see it. Alright, what's going on right now? Two of Wands in the reverse. Someone's stuck. They can't move forward, but they won't let go of the past. Cars broke down in the middle of the intersection. Hmm. Alright, so why'd they come back? <laughs> I love it when the moon card pops out when I ask a question like that. And all I hear is that is yet to be revealed. We'll throw a clarifier on that in a second. 
could have something to do with the full moon. The next one just happens to be on Halloween. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. I got water. I got fire. I got air. Hmm. All right. I'll stop right there for a minute. Get some clarity on what I got on the table. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mercury Retrograde 2020. The last Mercury Retrograde of 2020. We are so excited. I know I'm excited. I'll be honest. I just kind of like to fast forward right straight through Christmas. All right. Four pentacles reversed. <sighs> this could be someone who has something they need to tell you, has a truth that they need to tell you, something they need to let go of. Or, all fairness, all things being vice versa, someone you need to release something to. Something you need to get off your chest and let go of. Is it ringing any more bells? There's four ghosts here, thanks. Seven of blades reversed. There was a cup of truth here. This has something to do with truth. If there was lies and deception involved anywhere in this connection, it fell apart because truth was spoken. And it was something that someone didn't want to hear. Hmm. Oh, it's all coming together very nicely now, Leo. Why is the two of imps here? Eight of Cups reversed. returning because they can't move forward. One more. King of Rods reversed. No forward movement. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck. They can't move forward. Okay. <coughs> Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here for why they're coming back? High Priestess reversed. One more. Nine of Cups upright.
Leo, what are you doing to me? Why the high priest just reversed? When it came out of the cold. They're sorry they didn't listen. Why the nine of why the nine of elixirs? They don't want to fight anymore. They want celebration. They want the happiness back. They don't want to fight anymore. They want to come out of the cold. They're sorry that they didn't listen. Intuitively, they knew, but they didn't listen. Their ego got in the way. Ego's got in the way. One more on this moon card, please. Okay, I'll take two. Page of Cups in the reverse in judgment. They want to resurrect. It could it could just be a connection. It could be a friendship. They don't want the silence anymore. They want to resurrect it. Wow, Leo. Wow. They can't move forward until this is cleaned up. Oh, this was a dirty, dirty mess, wasn't it? Okay, how do you feel about it, Leo? Page M's reversed. I don't think you're ready to talk. I think silence is working for you right now. What do you think? How you feel? Lack of communication is working for you. Lack of forward movement is working for you. What do you think? We're going to throw a clarifier on that Five of Pentacles reversed before we drop the what you going to do. Why the Page of Imps reversed? Two of Elixirs, Two of Cups. You acknowledge the connection, but silence is working for you. Hmm. Okay. Why the five of pumpkins reversed? You wouldn't mind the coming out of the cold and the starting over. Why is there a but? One more. Mm. The lovers reversed. Someone may already be with someone else. Or the connection just isn't as strong. Okay. Alright, so what do you do about it? What are you doing about it, Leo?
Can I get one for the devil, please? Wow, this just took a weird turn. The devil on top of the devil. Hmm. Oh, this is bad idea written all over it. Oh, this is bad idea written all over it. There is quite obviously a strong pull between you. If the devil card clarified the devil card. Very strong, powerful connection. On a very shaky foundation, three of coins reversed. She landed sideways. We're going to take her that way. Queen of Swords in the upright. I think an honest conversation is going to take place. Whoever did what to who, and with, quite frankly, with this card buffet on the table, it's kind of hard to tell who did what to who. All things fair and equal and vice and versa and fluid. An honest conversation is going to take place. This is real shaky and real sketch. Two devil cards and a three of coins reversed. We have elixirs reversed and the ace of cups, the ace of elixirs. Leo, I think you're just going to be like, you know what? I got to do what's best for me. And what's best for me is to not walk back into this. That's what I see you doing here. You're not totally in the gate of all emotion, but um, there's a strong pull here. You acknowledge that there's a strong pull here. Potentially highly toxic on a very shaky foundation. And... Not necessarily in the gate of all emotion, but you're choosing you first. And that's not being selfish. Not at all. Let's get a little bit of advice. The high priestess in the upright and the sun in the reverse. You have an intuition. Use it. Yes, there is a connection. Yes, you're probably soulmates, but if this is going to cause the sun to not shine in your world, I wouldn't move on it. Go with your gut. Your gut knows what to do better than your head or your heart. Even your head and your heart put together.
I don't think that has anything to do with anything. That was card gibberish. Justice in the upright, nine of coins in the reverse. Hold that thought. Hold that thought, Leo. Leveling the playing field and making things right does not mean you have to thrust yourself back into a codependent relationship. Specifically, an extremely toxic one built on a shaky foundation. You can make things right with an honest conversation. Okay. Hermit in the reverse and the Four of Cups in the reverse. Or sorry, Four of Cups in the upright. Don't ignore how this made you feel and don't let it stray you from your path. Okay? This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. How little sense this makes, Leo. <laughs> I, I don't know where we took a left turn and got lost off the freeway, but whatever this was in the beginning, hmm, this is crazy weird stuff. Okay, Leo, I got to walk away from it. Oh, that makes sense now. World reverse, Knight of Knight of Imps reverse. That makes sense now. That makes sense now. Hold on. Use your intuition. Don't stray from your path. Leveling the play field does not mean you have to walk back into this. And if you decide to rerun this cycle again, just know that there's a good chance that it's just going to end up right back where it was again. And there's going to be no forward movement. You know what? Just sit down and have an honest conversation. Go out for dinner. Go out for tea. Do whatever it is you do. But ultimately, Leo, I think you're going to choose you. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right, I got to go. I got to go get ready for work. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Have fun this Mercury retrograde, really. Just have fun with it because that's really all you can do. Whatever the universe is going to throw at you, the universe is going to throw at you. But let me know what happens because this was like one of the craziest readings I've ever had to do for you guys. Take care. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you next time.